Even a well-fitted helmet needs to be in good condition to do its job. Uh, the time to replace a helmet is not when it looks on, like, like it does on the left picture, but checking for small signs of wear and tear, like cracked padding, fraying straps, or if the shell has cracks or big dents. If there are broken straps, those might be able to be replaced without buying a new helmet, but again, that depends on the brand. So when you're looking at brands, that may be a feature you wanna see. Like uh, how, um, how does that company allow for refurbishing that helmet? CDC guidelines state that helmets should be replaced after one hard impact. And that may seem really frequent, but again, you never know what kind of internal structures that you can't see may be broken. Two other things about helmet conditions are um, realizing that you're sweating inside that helmet so it can get stinky. Um, and when it smells, that means bacteria is growing. So what you can do to maintain that is just spray it down with a disinfectant occasionally to keep it clean. I also learned that some manufacturers warranties are void if any stickers, paint or accessories are added. So especially for kids that kind of want to jazz their helmet up a little bit, um, you should check the manufacturer's website and read the warranty to make sure that uh, you'll be covered if anything you know, truly horrific happens.